Hey everybody, Tommy for Tom's Road Trip and I am in New Orleans, Louisiana visiting the Audubon Zoo. Now face masks are required, so you see I have it on, I will have it on throughout the day. I just got out of the gift shop and got my hat. If you are familiar with my channel, I always purchase a hat, all the places I go to. Helps support the establishment and gives me a nice cheaper souvenir. This hat was $17, which is a really, really good price considering what most hats are around 25. So it's a pretty chilly day right now. It's about 50 degrees uh, and a little bit windy. So it's possible it's starting. Some of the animals may or may not be out. Uh, it's just about 10.05 now. Zoo just opened at 10 o'clock. So I have plenty of time to walk around and go back to habitats if I don't see the animals the first time. So let's get started right now. All right, so I find a map to give us a layout of the property. It's a good sized zoo. So I am looking forward to getting through it and everything. With any luck, we'll get to see all the animals today. All right, first up, we got Caribbean Flamingo. These birds do not mind the cold. Just some of you in the water. This is one of my favorite zoo birds to see. The Caribbean flamingos are typically more pink than the other varieties of flamingo. And just like all the other species, they get their pink plumage from the food that they eat. And why they look all pink on the outside, excluding their black beak, their feathers are actually black tipped on the underside. This is nice, you got some duck statues. You even got the little ducklings falling right behind. All right, now because of the current situation, all wildlife shows are on hiatus right now. Now this is fantastic. The elephants and lions. Definitely would not want to play in the water today. Aww. That. that is nice. Alright, gonna head into the Asian domain. Alright, Asian domain. Alright, Sumatra and orangutan. Got another one down in the hammock. All covered up. Nice and warm and toasty. There is the youngster. Another one down below. A nice warm blanket over him. Put this guy up on top of the post. Looks like he's got some palm fronds on them. Plenty of signage around and directional arrows to point you in the correct direction. So I'm going to head to the right because it wraps around and I'll eventually get to the Asian elephants. Alright, a mer leopard. There's the mer leopard. Just missed him, he was right up close by the fence. Such beautiful animals. Hmm, he's very agile. And there's a second one down here on the ground. You see some of the zoo's old Christmas trees in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's the other one right up top. Got something in its mouth. 
Oh yeah. It's something it's chewing on. Got a baby elephant statue. All right, right off the bat, I love the design of this place. That's the Mer Leopard's habitat we just saw. All right, Sun Bear. Now, I do not currently see the Sun Bear out. Probably in the back where it's nice and warm, so I will definitely come back and check. See if I can see him a little bit later. Literature here on this wall about the different animals and the plight that they are facing with the deforestation and losing our natural habitat. Additional information that challenges to coexist. Taking action in Indonesia. Got these elephant sculptures. Notice all their tusks are missing. Now if it's because of signifying ivory poaching. Got North Sawali Barbarusa and Asian small clawed otter. Now currently I do not see either one of them out. I don't expect to see all the animals out early on. As the day progresses, it's supposed to warm up. So again, I'll come back a little bit later. Got some Barasinga. Oh, I got these guys out. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Got several of them. This one here is a little bit, a little bit nervous looking. My camera is kind of large with my tripod and big microphone on top, so it sometimes scares the animals. So I've mentioned this in the past, I try to be slow around them so as not to spook the animals. The whole idea of visiting the zoo is to enjoy the animals without spooking them or stressing them out. Get some bar-headed goose. Do you not currently see the geese? So I will come back. It's the same habitat as these guys. And get one of the workers in there cleaning up. Got a Malayan tiger. There he is. Chilling out. Literally, because it's chilly. Look at that. Moved around a little bit to try to get a better view. Fantastic. All right, we've got the Asian elephants. And some information on the wall about the differences between Asian elephants and African elephants. There's one of their Asian elephants. You know they have others in here. This has got a very nice sized habitat. So again, I'll come back a little bit later, see if the other elephants are outside. Get a little better view of this elephant. Looks like they're all going inside. Because I made my loop around. Yeah, it's going back inside. Or it's warm. Dragging his blanket around. His name must be Linus. Yeah, the other one's going inside with the others. All right, obviously Cool Zoo will not be open today. This is their splash pad area. It's very popular during the summertime, during normal operating procedures. Due to COVID, I understand it hasn't been open at all since this past year. 
And right in front of Cool Zoo is restroom locations, both men's and women's facilities. There is a small playground for the kids to play on. Another view of that fantastic fountain in the front. And continue following the arrows. Welcome to the Zufari Cafe. Alright, Zufari here is their menu. Alright, so showing the map again. I did forget to mention there is a one-way path outlined with the red dashes. And where I'm at right now, right by Zoo Safari Cafe, right next to Zoo Safari Cafe, we got the World of Primates. We got some more information on the dangers of the animals. We got a black and white rough lemur. All right, currently I do not see any of the lemurs out, so I will check back a little bit later. We got Telopian monkey. Again, I do not see these critters out just yet, but they do have food put out for them, so I will check back a little bit later. Hopefully, they'll be out. All right, golden lion tamarin. This is their habitat. You can see their inside habitat is not open just yet. So it's probably a little too cold for these animals to be out. So I'll check back a little bit later when it warms up. Right, Eastern black and white Columbus. Not too chilly for this big fuzzy guy. Love their long fur. Bushy tail. He's chewing on some romaine lettuce. Good to see one of these guys out. Alright, Samang. This is a Samang's habitat. And they are inside still. They do have access to come out. Got wolf gunning. Uh, just as I suspected, they are not out either. And black howler monkey. Same with this habitat. I will come back a little bit later. Now it might seem like there's an awful lot of animals that aren't available yet, but that's not unusual earlier in the day when it's still cold. Usually in the afternoon, the sun's gonna start coming out and warm things up some, and that's when a lot of these animals will be out. All right, mandrel. Not surprisingly, mandrel are not out at the moment. So you know I'll come back. So we got Western Lowland Gorilla. These guys have a fantastic habitat. The best news is, is they are out. So we got two of them. Or three of them, there's another smaller one to the left. There we go. The one on the left isn't quite as small as I thought. There's also a fourth one. Yeah, these guys got to be chilly. <laughs> but they got their fur coats on. Help keep them warm. I got some information here about butterfly gardening. But of course, smack dab in the middle of winter is not the time of year for butterflies. And this butterfly garden would look fantastic in the spring. Alright, so showing you the map again so you see where I'm at, where the star is, right by World of Primates. So I'm going to continue going up the path here, past Zoo Safari Cafe, in the train station. Alright, train station, Gator Run, and snakes. Because of the current situation, Train depot is closed, no train ride today. Dangerous species carousel, which is not operating right now due to social distancing guidelines. Now, apparently, Gator Run is unavailable. 
this past the splash pad area. I see an emu. What's up, Birdie? How you doing? How are you? All right, emu. What's new, Birdie Bird? All right, Gator Run is a water ride. I didn't realize that, so that would explain why that area is off limits. There's a second emu over on the other side of the habitat. I'm pretty confident this stand will not be open today. All right, this confirms that the Audubon Aviary is not open, and I do understand why. But fear not, I will still get to show you some birds. Got a lovely male peacock right here. You might be able to see some brown pelican. And Caribbean flamingo. So all the birdies are across the water. Including the pelicans. Those well, appear to be white pelicans. And they are chatty. All right, Maine Wolf. I just saw a Maine Wolf walking around. There we go. He's finally out in the habitat. Finally came out. Must have heard me. I got the gist of it anyway. All the way in the back. By the gate. So now that the sun is out, I see these critters to come outside. Now is when it will start to warm up. I can already feel the temperature difference. Hi, Wolfie. All right, following the path, going to go on the boardwalk. I got South America. Several animals are in here. A capybara. King Vulture, Patagonian Cavi, and Greater Rhea. Patagonian Cavi right out here in the front. Several King Vulture. I do not currently see the Greater Rhea or the Capybara. So I, again, I'll check back a little bit later. Get a fantastic view of them here. King Vulture got a little bit closer. Across the water, we got Capybara and Bard's Taper. Actually, you see the Capybara out. Communicating the past. And sacred animals. And a sweet connection. Sugar cane. Cultivating life. Got Gonaco. Hopefully I said that correctly. They're related to the alpaca and the llama. I can see one of them. And there's a great area. Right walking next to it. Several great area laying right down. I didn't even see them. There's another one laying down. Now I saw a badge taper a little while ago, but they walked behind the buildings. So I'm coming back in this area anyway, so hopefully they'll be out. Because you have lots of space to walk around in. Alright, unfortunately, a nocturnal house is also closed. All right, Jaguar Jungle. Got a common boa constrictor. It's right inside here. He's here on the bottom. Finally saw him. There we go, common boa constrictor. I got some Agori Stork. This guy's out. 
He doesn't care it's cold. Got another one walking around getting something to eat. Yeah, there he's cleaning up. Perils of exploration. And macaw. You don't have the macaw out at the moment. Not sure if they're going to be out today or not. So when I come back to this area a little bit later, maybe they will be out. The Mayan gods. Oh, this is nice. There's all bamboo along the trails. We go through this archway. That is what this gateway is called. So nice looking. All right, giant ant eater. Okay, apparently, giant ant eater is still inside as well. You can see its door is open, so you can come in and out at discretion. Also, St. Vincent Agati is in the same habitat as the anteater. Again, not out, so I will come back. Right, uncovering the secrets of the Maya. Kids can dig up artifacts. And you got spider monkeys. It's nice to see the spider monkeys are out. You know, they're all huddled up together. Oh yeah. All huddled up together. Stay warm. These guys do have access to go inside their nighttime habitats. They're not locked out here in the cold. It's up to the animals whether or not they want to be out or not. But these guys have a very nice looking habitat. A Brazilian ocelot. Apparently the ocelot is still inside. So I'll check back a little bit later. Hopefully it'll be out. Jungle Kingdom of the Mine. All the Mayan symbols. All right, Jaguar. It's a beautiful animal. Hi, kitty cat. Love the color markings and the pattern. Just looking through the glass. It's just a little bit smudged. Just pacing back and forth now. It was moving around a lot around its habitat. So it's got lots of space to move around. The jaguars and leopards have similar markings. There's just some slight variation differences. See, jaguars have like a little face inside of their almost complete circle, where leopards do not. And on the side of the wall, slide there's the warning information here the gods have spoken and you must obey I love the stonework you get to see some alpaca there's 
Beefy alpaca. Couple other ones inside the barn. That's a pretty white alpaca. How are you? Does not seem impressed. That's okay. More alpaca over on this side. Hello. There's this Louisiana Swamp exhibit is here to the left. And down this path is the exit. All right, the Louisiana Swamp. All right, gonna check out the Louisiana Swamp. Starting this way. All right, what is a swamp? All information. There we got black bear. I do not currently see the black bear. So I will check back. I feel it's already starting to warm up. So hopefully these animals will start being out. Got floating houses. There we go. This is the original teddy bear. This is all duckweed. So all this green is duckweed. And raccoon. This is a raccoon's habitat. The signs say to look up. Because that's where all the raccoons are. I see five raccoons up in this tree. That's where they usually live. These guys are nocturnal, they're usually sleeping during the daytime. And that's an old vehicle. Alright, cougar. All right, cougar's right underneath. On a nice warm hay. Get out of the wind. Should be a lot warmer right there. It's the flood of 1927. Bald Cypress, Louisiana's state tree. And you got Cypress Knee Cafe, which is not open right now. I'll show you the menu. This is off season at the zoo. Where you get gator and crawfish pie? Wow. Alright, alligator. Now I am not sure if the alligators are even out. Since we are in the winter season, but usually you see their eyeballs peeking out. Alright, alligator snapping turtle. Now just like with the alligators, I think these guys are already off habitat until spring when it starts to warm up. Because I do not see them, I think it'll be too cold for them. Alright, otter. There's the otter's habitat. Now I do see the otter. And they are underneath that big log. Perhaps they'll be out a little bit later. Now oysters is something that is really big in Louisiana. See a big old pile of oyster shells. I myself cannot eat raw oysters. No, not that I can't, I won't. I have no trouble trying new foods, but that's something that I don't think I can stomach, literally. Got a Texas rat snake. This guy's got a really nice habitat, all decked out. I was looking for him, and I happened to see his head peeking out from the watering can. I only see a water snake. It's in this big bowl of water. I didn't see him earlier when I came by. Look at that, I found the alligator. He's right over here. 
Evidently he has access to go over in this area also. There's a big alligator. Got these guys all over the state of Florida. And definitely here in the swamps of Louisiana. Oh, we got a cane break rattlesnake. You can even see his rattle on the end of his tail. Got a southern copperhead. Very nice looking snake. I like its coloration. Got western and dusky pygmy rattlesnakes. I look, the only one that I see is the western pygmy rattlesnake. And we got the Mississippi River bottom. Got some European brown carp and some alligator gar. It's easy to tell the alligator gar. There's our other fish. Yeah, you even got a bicycle in there to ride. That's nice. And if you got some sewing to do, I think you could do that also. Very nice. You got fresh water. And largemouth bass. There you are. So we're going to see some green sunfish, and sunfish bluegirl, also known as perch, and long gear sunfish. Look at that. All the different fish. We should call it sacolot, also known as the crappy and white perch. Look at that. We got brackish water, we got some striped mullet, some ladyfish, striped hermit crab, and blue crab. It's just murky water. Kind of hard to see the crabs. Then we got the salt water. And pinfish. Alright, so that tank also has some sheep head. That one's quick. It's got a lot better view of this big giant alligator. That's a big one. We've got the Louisiana swamp monster. scary looking. It's all about the swamp monster. Almost missed this beautiful owl in here with them. Wow. Alright, Jewel the Swamp, the white alligators. Alright, look at that. There's an underwater view of them. This guy over here is even larger. And they are separated. Man, there's a big gator. Do every very small area for the kids to climb in. Showing the nets of Louisiana. Called a duck blind. That's what the duck blind looks like. Got this alligator statue here. It's satisfying the Cajun sweet tooth. Got honeybee colonies. Got a bobcat. There he is. Cute little stubby tail. <laughs> Oh, like a big house cat. Huh, pretty kitty. Oh, where'd you go? You went the other way again. They're pretty kitty. 
The poultry and egg yard. It's a strange combination, huh? Got eggs in with the bobcat. With this sign here, it'll just put your mind at ease. It's interesting trading catfish for coffee. Got a red fox. So cute and fuzzy. Just relaxing. This guy's got a lovely habitat. We'll pass by the Swamp Train Depot. I'm gonna check out the animals on this side next. All right, we've got Twiga Terrace. So all the other types of critters that will be in this area are not available right now. And we got Watoto Farm. Miniature Zebu. Right, we're gonna see some Sicilian Donkey. Miniature Zebu. The Sicilian Donkey. Over here on the left. Right, and with the miniature zebu, looks like we got some goats and sheep. This area is currently off limits to visitors, so you can't go in and pet these animals. Right, so I'm showing this mini map. We just got out of Louisiana Swamp. So these little critters over here, this is where I'm at right now. All right, African Savannah. All right, we got West African crown cranes, giraffes, and marabou storks. Let's see the giraffe. That's one of the West African crown cranes. I'm so jealous of their hair on top. All the workers got food. Yes, yeah, so the giraffe is having some food. There we go. We're suffering crown cream. Moved all the way around. I do not currently see the marabou storks. The giraffe have lots more space to move around. So it's possible the storks are around this corner. I just can't see them. All right, African painted dog. I currently do not see them. So they could possibly be on the other side of these rocks, all napping together or down below, and I just can't see them. So I'll check back a little bit later. Hopefully they'll be out. All right, this next habitat is nicely themed. That's Kalinda Station 1. Got the lions, got the king, and the queen. There we go, there's the lions. You have the one male with all the women. The female lionesses do all of the work, hunting. But the male lion protects the pride. Of course, you don't have to do any hunting here at the zoo. Got lots of space. You want a larger female up on the rock. We'll be right back. We're gonna see some pink back pelican and eastern white pelican, Thompson's gazelle, Nyala, and. Abyssian ground hornbill. Do you see the pelicans? Ooh. See so many Abyssian ground hornbills. The pelicans. I currently do not see the Nile or the Thompson's gazelle. But they can still be out here. And you should have some zebra and some white rhino. 
along with some marabou stork. I do see some zebra. It's all the way in the back. I do not currently see all of the white rhino. But again, I'll check back. There's some additional space for the white rhino and zebra. This is nice. I feel bad for the gazelle, but still. All right, we got red river hog. Some brightly colored pigs. He's cute. Very nice piggy. Now, so Sea Lion Theater itself is not open because obviously we can't do shows with social distancing guidelines. But you can still see the sea lions. All right, the sea lions are out. I was worried it'd be too cold for them. Well, these guys are built for it. Very nice. Zoo has this other fountain here underneath all these big giant oak trees. Information in this awesome building. This whole part of the zoo is the oldest portion. The buildings that they are working on renovating and preserving. A really nice fountain right here. Another old sculpture. It's the old reptile house. So I guess normally there'd be a false garl in here. I actually think I do see him. Here we go, he's in the back. Yeah, false garl right here. He's kind of in the back, so it's hard to get a really good look at him. They basically looks like a small alligator with a squished end snout. There's another one here on the bottom. You can kind of make him out. Here's the back of the other one. So the reptile building is closed, unfortunately, because I do love reptiles. Information here about the Audubon Zoo through the years. Started out as a park. They slowly got some animals. All right, dragons and myths. All right, Komodo dragon. That's a nice Komodo dragon statue, just in case I don't actually see the Komodo dragon, you know what it looks like. Yeah, because he's inside. I fear it'd be too cold for him to be outside. It's a good size one. Alright, so this portion of the zoo is, again, the oldest portion of the zoo. Because the zoo started as a park, as we saw in the signage. All right, so I'm showing you the map again, so you see right where I'm at. All right, I made my initial walk through the zoo property. It is around one o'clock, and it's still below 50 degrees. Warmed up just a little bit. The feels like temperature is uh, 52 degrees, even though according to my phone, it is 46 degrees now. So it's a one degree warmer than it was earlier. But anyway, I'm going to take this opportunity to rewalk the zoo property and hopefully get to see some of the animals that we missed. Early on, the zoo had just opened. So now that it is past noon, hopefully a lot of those animals will be out. Oh, here we got some whooping cranes. Now, there's another one further in the back because I can see its white wings. This is on the path 
leading up to the front of the zoo. I missed this little one in the, earlier. This is a baby. Well, not so much baby anymore. So she's the youngest one. She's about eight months old. She's just starting to get her her feathers in. Alright, the orangutans are back out. The one's still covered up. One up above having a ball. Alright, so I came back to the sun bear's habitat and still no sun bear. So it's probably just too cold for them. Alright, the Asian small clawed otters are finally out. Alright. They make cute little squeaky noises too. They're nice and squeaky. Yeah, they're going to go in the back again. At least I got to see them. And the Norse finally, Babarusa didn't still want to come out. But at least I got to show you the otter. The old tiger is still in the same exact spot as he was earlier. Also, the bar-headed goose with these guys is still not out. And the animals have the choice whether to come out or not. I'm not sure if there's the exact same elephant that was out earlier, but still the only one that's out. And there's a train going by in the background. Alright, back over in the world of primates, the black and white rough lemur is out. So they're on the bottom. Talapoin monkeys, I still do not see. <laughs> Golden lion tamara have the option to come out. See their habitat is open. The samang are out because he can hear them. But they're up in a tree where I can't really see them. But you can hear them. The wolf's gone in, I do not see either. And still a black howling monkey. See the samang now up in a tree. There's two of them up there. They are very, very vocal. Yeah, there's two of them right, right next to each other. I was hoping to see the mandrel out, but I did not see him either. When I made the plans for this trip over a month ago, I didn't realize it was going to be so cold. So I apologize if some of these animals I will not get to show you at all today. Perhaps sometime in the future I'll try to come back here in the warmer months and where I'll have a better luck. But I don't foresee that happening this year. So perhaps next year, if things progress better with the whole pandemic situation, I'll make another stop here. Dancing on me. Over here in the Africa section again. Man, she was stalking me. She just pounced when I walk over here. Did a good job. I'm not something to eat though. How are you? Man. That was scary at second. <laughs> I think I just nets here. Yeah, she was off hiding on the side and she saw me walking up. Again, the camera, I think is a bit unnerving to some of these animals. Hi, sweetheart. Man, she almost pounced me. That would have been lunch for these lions. Yeah, she came back around, she followed me around. Follow yeah, me around. Hey, leave her alone, she followed me around. Let's well, get a better look at me. I must look like I taste good or something. I don't know. 
All right, finally see some marabou stork. There's a Nyella in the back. So any other pelican species. Still do not see any Thompson's gazelle. Again, they could be out, I just don't see them, or they're in the back where it's nice and warm. I also unfortunately still do not see the white rhino. Or the zebra for that fact. Alright, African painted doggies are out. There we go. Finally out. Finally a little more active. Alright, got him right here. Hopped up on the rock to say hello. Hey damn buddy. The other one is off to the side here. Let me get a little closer. So happy to finally be able to see some of these animals I missed. I was getting word I'd miss everything. But you can see. They have access to come and go as they please. It's totally up to the animals whether or not they want to be out in their habitat. Back over in the giraffe habitat. Trying to get a better view of the West African Crown Crane. Apparently the giraffes decided to go inside because they're no longer out here, so I'm glad I got to see them earlier. And the farm animals are a little more spread out now. We got sheep and goats. Trying to get you a better look at the Sicilian donkey. The other guys are right over here. See this bluebird over here. So the black bear is still inside. Doesn't seem like he wants to come out in the cold. All right, cougar is out where I can see him now. All right, much better view. So while I didn't realize it earlier that there was two of them in this habitat, I think that's the other one in the same spot. Raccoons is down out of the tree. Hey raccoon! What's up baby? I see these guys up nice and close. Like at home. I see these guys on my front porch eating cat food in the past. So that's why they don't keep cat food out there anymore. So the other neighborhood kitty cats can't get fed. At least during the evenings. We even had possums side by side with the cats eating. All right, the otters are out in the water playing. Very nice. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, the one all the way in the back. Came back into Bobcats, and Bob has his buddy with him now. All right. Completely missed the other one. Now look at the red fox. Hey, both of them are already storking together now. This one's making a nest. Trying to anyway. I guess it's still too cold for the macaws to be out. All right, so the Agathe and the ant eater are still in the back. Don't want to be out today, apparently. There's still no ocelot. At least the spider monkeys are up walking around now. Well, mostly sitting. Enjoying the sun finally out. 
get back at the Jaguar again. The Jaguar's up walking around. Looks like all the Apaca are out. And the Bard's Taper is out roaming around. There we go. One better view the Bard's Taper. One better view the Gunnico. Tons of white iris. Those are wild birds. They do not belong to the zoo. Another bird's taper walking around the back. The greater Rhea are up walking around now. Patagonian Cavi. And King Vultures. Sun's finally shining, so I'm sure all these critters are going to be out more enjoying the sunlight finally. Another nice, another nice view of the Caribbean flamingo and white pelican. Tons of more white ibis right with them too. Very opportunistic birds. Now they came back to see the Amur leopards. They are out again. Welcome, just relaxing. Even though the sun is finally out, they're not getting any sun in this location where they are. Our Western Lowland Gorillas are out again. Now that it's nice and sunny. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. Got two Red River Hogs now. All right, nice up close. Love all the statues they got all around the zoo, the different animals. Well, I came back around again, hoping to see the black bear. She's still not out. And all the raccoons are down from the tree now. That's a big plump raccoon right there. Well, these guys get a nice healthy diet, they don't rely on trash cans. You saw the real lions, and they got these fantastic lion sculptures. There's a lion cub playing with daddy's tail. There's another one with a baby. Another female, another baby. Now from the top of this hill, it's lined with astroturf, basically fake grass. So the kids can roll down it and run down it and just be wacky and wild. All right, whooping crane. One last look at the whooping crane before I leave. All right, so we exit into the Audubon Marketplace. It's a gift shop I got my hat when I first got here. And that's a good sized gift shop to get a selection of all sorts of stuff. Again, this is where I got my hat when I first got here. All sorts of good stuff we have in here. Well, cheaper items, even candy. Lots and lots of plush. Various sizes of shirts and hats for kids and adults. And all sorts of bracelets and personalized street names. And Thermoses. So lots and lots of plush, different sizes. Lots of activity books and storybooks all about the animals. Lots of various little cheaper stuff, little knickknacks, charms and bracelets and other sort of jewelry. All right, so I am officially out of the zoo so I can take my face mask off now. It is warmed up a little bit. Unfortunately, there were several animals I did not get to see. I apologize for that. I went back several times. 
including other times that I did not film, hoping I would see them. But alas, that happens. As I said during the tour, it's the animal's choice whether or not they want to come out or not. It's a little chilly day. Never got above the 50s. So I 100% understand it's warmer in their evening habitat. And that's where the animals most likely want to be. But I did get a chance to see some of the other ones that I missed early on. All of the tortoises are already off habitat for the winter. It's not safe for them to be out. They are cold-blooded and the cold weather would kill them. So besides the tortoises, obviously there was a few other animals that I did not get to see like the sun bear, the taper. I went back several times, several of the monkey species I didn't get to see. But even with that, I still had a fantastic time. Saw a few animals I've never seen before at other zoos. Very nicely laid out zoo with the one-way path. Great habitat. The Louisiana swamp area was, was awesome. Nice to see that. Where else about Louisiana would you get to see that? So, if you like what you saw, leave my video a nice thumbs up. Leave some comments down below what your favorite animal was. Perhaps give me some suggestions on where you'd like to see me go in the future. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I'm adding new stuff all the time, going to new places, looking forward to going to more in the future. As the country opens up again, hopefully things will improve sooner than later and I'll get to go to more places. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.